Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub. Today I want to share with you two ways that I use SEMrush to find quick opportunities to boost traffic for my sites and sites of my clients. Before I dive into that though, I'd like to encourage you if you haven't already, go over to the seopub.com. Make sure you sign up for the email list there where every week I send out new tips and strategies like this. All right, so one thing that stuck out to me a long time ago, actually it was back in 2007, the vice president of engineering for Google at that time made a comment that between 20 and 25% of the searches Google saw each day were new and unique searches that they had never seen before. In 2017, Ben Gomes, who's the current vice president of engineering at that time, said the number was around 15% at that time. And even though it had dropped some 15%, when you consider all the searches that Google does or Google sees, that's a huge number. And that always stuck with me. For that reason, what I do is I like to constantly be updating keyword lists. You know, when, when I start a new project, obviously we do comprehensive keyword research at the beginning of it. But I look at key, a keyword list as a living document, meaning that you're constantly adding to it and, and it's constantly growing and you're finding new opportunities. Sometimes you're taking keywords out of the list that no longer are appropriate, but a lot of times it's growing with new keywords that you discover or that competitors discover. With that in mind, there's two things that I like to do, depending on the project side, either monthly or quarterly on client projects. And I use SEMrush to do this because it just makes it really quick and easy. SEMrush collects a ton of data, and I think sometimes that data gets overlooked, um, a lot of that data, because there's just so much there. But first thing I like to do is go to the new positions report for a site. So. We're just going to use Asana.com as an example here. Asana is a hugely popular project management tool. And there's two ways, two ways that you get to this positions report that we're going to use. First is down in the organic research, you can click on view details. Or over here on the left side, you click on the organic research. And then on the next page, I want to look at the position changes. So I'm going to click on the position changes tab. And here we're gonna, this new menu that pops up, the drop down menu, we wanna select position changes. So you can go by search terms that have improved, search terms that have declined, search terms that are dropped out of the top 100. But what we wanna look at is new. So these are search terms that have popped up that the site didn't rank for before, and now it is ranking for. And one other thing I like to do here, I'm looking for quick wins, you know, quick things I can use to boost up traffic. So a lot of times what I'll do here is narrow down the positions. I select this positions drop down thing and I'll do a custom range. I like to do from 10 to 25. So what this is is keywords that the site did not rank for before, but now ranks in the top or ranks in the position between positions 10 and 25. These are keywords that you can with a little bit of focus, probably get inside the top eight, maybe top five, uh, maybe even top three. And if you have a really big list of these type of keywords, it can really boost up your search volume pretty quickly. Second thing I like to do is use the keyword gap tool. And we're gonna go over on the left side here to keyword gap. And I like to select the top two to three competitors. If there's a lot of strong competitors, I'll kind of rotate these in and out. But for this one, we're going to use clickup.com, uh, projectmanager.com, and we'll use monday.com. And we hit the compare button. And what I want to look at is the untapped keywords. So what this is giving you is keywords that one of these competitors ranks for, but the site I'm working with, in this case, I'm using Asana, Asana does not rank for. If you're working with big sites, this can be a huge list of words. So there's a couple filters I like to use to narrow it down. And even with smaller sites, I'll, I'll do this a lot of times. First thing is under position, I'll select competitors and do a custom range from one to five. So these are keywords that one of these sites ranks in the top five for but my site does not. Now, depending on how much this narrows it down, I may expand that a little bit to like one to 10. But what this does is it gives you a lot of keywords that 
one of these sites is ranking in the top five or top 10 for, but my site is not ranking at all for. So they can be new opportunities to go after. Second thing I like to do, if you're up against well-known brands, this will just narrow down the list a lot. Like for example, ClickUp and Monday, if you've done any research into project management tools, you've come across ClickUp, you've seen Monday. So I like to filter these out. So I'll go to advanced filters, exclude, and we'll do click up, we'll add Monday. And in this case, I'd probably also exclude click up as two words for anyone that you know, mistypes it out of habit or uh, any autocorrect type type searches, hit apply. And what that will do then now we filtered out all the brand related searches because we don't we aren't really going to look at those. So those are two really quick ways I use SEMrush to stay on top of new opportunities for boosting organic search traffic to a website. That's it for this video. Again, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there, and I'll see everyone in the next one.